Hey guys, this is Maple Notchman, and I'm going to show you a quick way to scan data mined wake exceptions, uh, which are all your FSD related encoded materials to uh, use on your first engineer, which should be Felicity Farseers or Elvira Martuk, but I prefer Farseers, personal opinion. Um, so basically, what you're going to do is you're going to get yourself a wake scanner. Um, it's just a utility slot, easy to find. Uh, get the 0A1 if you have enough power for it. Um, and then you're going to come to eddb.io, come into systems, and then put in your reference system that's nearby. I'm going to put in my pirate home here. And then you're looking for a faction state of famine. Okay, so we're going to find a famine system. And the reason we want a famine system is because we're going to go scan wakes at the distribution center. Um, so then I sort by the population, click it twice, and the highest population system on here, not a whole lot of famine systems right now. We're going to take this guy right here, copy him up, and then we'll head over to my ship and we'll jump over there. All right, so we've managed to jump all the way over to Shebekawalua. <laughs> Yeah, say that 10 times fast. Um, and now we're going to look for distribution center. So I'm going to go into filters. I'm going to filter on the points of interest. And sure enough, here's the distribution center. So we'll make sure and select that. Um, sometimes they don't necessarily show up. You might have to scan the nav beacon or you might need to go dock at a station uh, to get it to show up. But this one showed up right away for me. Um, so we're able to fly over here. Now, the reason that we're coming to a distribution center is because I think that you get the best results from scanning wakes from big ships, and we should have lots of Type 9s coming in and out of here. Um, so those, I think those are some of the best wakes to scan. Um, so that's going to give us lots of, um, hopefully, lots of data mine wake exceptions, which is what I'm trying to farm right now. Um, usually when you're unlocking your first engineer, my rule of thumb is to sit and scan until you get like five data mined wake exceptions because by the time you get five of them those are the high grade the grade five then you should have enough of all the other ones that you're able to fully engineer an fsd with farseer uh, minus of course the manufactured and raw materials that you'll need as well um, and of course i have other videos to show you how to do that um, so let's approach the distribution center. I'm using the rule of seven seconds. So basically seven seconds and 75% throttle. Um, so we can get into this distribution center nice and quick. And notice I kind of went wide of the planet so we didn't get stuck in its gravity. Okay, so here we are. We're in the distribution center. Um, you can see all these ships and type nines and stuff. So what you can do is come over here to contacts. And if you go down to the bottom, oh, we don't have any wakes yet. Okay, well, that'll change here in a minute. In the meantime, let's make sure we have a, a, a keybind for our frame, wake, wake, frame shift wake scanner. Wow, I can't talk today. So I'm going to bind that to two. Okay, you got to deploy your hard points. Now, my frame shift wake scanner, wow, um, it actually is engineered with fast scan. So that'll make it go a little quicker for me. So basically, we're just going to fly around a little bit. We're waiting for these ships to start kind of doing their thing. And then we will start getting uh, wakes. And usually we end up getting so many wakes that, uh, you know, you, you have to fly around. And so, see, speak of the devil, there's a wake right there. Boom. So we're going to fly up to this guy. And you got to hold the wake scanner down, kind of like a kill warrant scanner until you're in range. Now, yours will probably take more like 10 seconds. Mine took, um, I don't know, like three. Oh, here's another wake. And if you see up in the right corner, we got the grade four, eccentric, uh, whatever it's called. Oh, okay, we got more. Let's see up in the right corner what we got. Oh, data mine wake exceptions. That's the grade five. Sweet. So this is basically we're just going to fly around and scan all these wakes. Um, and this is pretty much it. You just sit here, you gather them, uh, just keep scanning them. Uh, maybe give this like half an hour to an hour. And like I said, shoot for, you know, maybe five of those data mined wake exceptions. That'll actually give you 15.
because you get three for every scan. And the way that you check how many you have, you can actually come into your ship inventory on your right panel and then come down. Here's your raw and manufactured materials. And then here's your encoded materials. And if we go down to data mine wake exceptions, I am currently at 25. And you can see, see the little symbol on the right hand side, the five check marks means that it's a grade five. This classified scan fragments also a grade five, grade three, grade four, so on and so forth. Um, so you can definitely go on Inara, check exactly which ones you need and how many you need. Um, my, my rule of thumb is two for grade one, especially, you know, when you're first leveling up the engineer, it might take more. So you might need, um, you know, like three for grade one, maybe four for grade two, five for grade three. And then I would plan on, I don't know, somewhere between five to 10 for grade four and, uh, 10 to 15 for grade five but once you max them out um, it doesn't typically take once you max the engineer out it doesn't typically take that many while wow, this fast scan is really nice I, I feel sorry for you watching me sit here and do this with the fast scan because because yours yours are going to take 10 seconds to scan <laughs> oh i'm spoiled uh but that's you know i have all the engineers unlocked so i deserve it um but yeah so so anyhow uh that one's already been scanned because it says the system uh, you got to get them kind of quick because they do disappear. Um, so like I said, just fly around and scan all these wakes. Um, I, I recommend that you use something that's kind of nimble and fast. Like I'm using an Asp Explorer. Um, this Asp Explorer has like a 65 light year jump range. So getting over to the system was quick and easy. Um, the most important thing you can do in this game is build ships that can jump far. Okay? Because it will save you crap tons of time. It only took me like four jumps to get over to the system that was 200 light years away. Okay, it, so it took me like a whopping two minutes. Like it's not a big deal. If you're jumping around in your Viper Mark III, you know, it's going to take you 15 jumps to get over here. And that's a gigantic waste of time. So, you know, your first big ship that you buy, your big money ship, should be a Diamondback Explorer or an Asp Explorer. Um, you could use a hauler to get decent jump range out of. I mean, there's options. So look them up. Check out my build spreadsheet if you're in the EDF. Um, if you're not in the EDF, though, I'm sure you could Google and find all sorts of stuff. All right, so this is Maple signing off. Good luck, guys.